I'm sad. <laughs> okay, so now we're recording. Um, so I yeah, do say post. It all again. Yeah, say it all again. Let's re That's let's cool. redo that entire conversation. <laughs> so, um, uh, so I just I post these. That's really all I do. I don't. Does anybody else want access to the YouTube channel? I have access. Oh, do you have access as well? I'm pretty sure I do. Okay. It'd be nice to kind of know who has. Oh, you put yourself down in there. Okay. And then as far as access goes, what's that, Kevin? Oh, we, we might consider putting together a, a special interest group to kind of manage and oversee the website, the YouTube channel, the social media that we were just talking about. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Um, I'll kind of put this at the top. Yeah, if you guys, if you know who has the access to the YouTube stuff, I can add that to the social media readme too. That's okay. fine. It looks like it's me and Georg. Not maybe not handle, but oversee. I think I have access to it as well. Yeah. It would be good to have access to it, I think. I have a couple of things here. Do you want access to it, Sean? Yeah. Okay. I'll figure out how to do that. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. And then um, in terms of Twitter, I think it's Jesus, Georg, Sean, and Kevin. Yeah, I think Jesus and Georg have the actual control of the account, and Kevin and I just have some kind of uh, tweet, tweet deck access. Like, you can give access to other people through tweet deck. Can you tweet through tweet deck? I can tweet through tweet deck only. Is there anything else you would want beyond that? I mean, having a mobile client would be, that's how I do like 95% of my tweeting. So, having okay. to go through a browser and tweet is not the ordinary workflow for Twitter. <laughs> And TweetDeck doesn't have a mobile client? No. And I've looked around. It doesn't seem to be a mobile client that follows whatever authentication rules are in place on TweetDeck. OK. I don't know if anybody knows about one. So Sean, I, don't. I, I must disappoint you. I also only have TweetDeck access. I don't have any other access to this account either. So is there a bus factor on the password for this account one? It's, it sounds like it's one. <laughs> sounds not good. Don't, I don't. <laughs> Uh, I don't have TweetDeck uh, access. I was given the password to the uh, the Twitter account towards the beginning, uh, and I actually don't remember what it is. So if my browser uh, removes the saved password, then I will no longer have access. Oh, this is super. Okay, so we're. <laughs> you can look up saved passwords. Yeah, Kevin, you can look up the password from the browser. And oh, I can. Down. Yes, you can. Depends on the browser. Safari lets you do it, but Chrome. Uh, in in the Chrome, you can look up. Uh, in the Chrome, there's an open show password. Then it'll ask again the password, and then it'll display all the safe passwords. You whatever you want to see. Okay. Why don't you? I tried that in Firefox. I don't believe it works in Firefox. Try it in Safari. I used it in Firefox. I can uh, do there's an action item which is find the Twitter <laughs> password. <laughs> And Kevin, I also sent you admin access on TweetDeck so that you can also use TweetDeck. I should probably not be recording this because. <laughs> Listen carefully. <laughs> yeah, okay, I hate this must <laughs> if because uh, he did. I know he started the account. So if um, yeah, or can you ping Jesus if? Yeah. Okay. That action item. Okay. Either Kevin or Jesus. Oh, right. never mind. I do have the password. I have it right here on my phone. Do you want me to hold it in the camera? Are you serious? <laughs> no, don't put it in the camera because I'm recording it. <laughs> Are you kidding, right? <laughs> I think you should just tweet the password out here. <laughs> that way we'll all have it. All right, why don't you discreetly share it with Sean and uh, Kevin. Let me verify that it hasn't changed since two years ago. So I need to know, hearing the name Sean Kevin sequence is a little freaky for me because my, the second name 
oldest Goggins is Kevin. <laughs> what? Well, the, I'm the oldest. The second is Kevin. So it was like always my mom would go through the children in age oh. order. And so when I hear Sean and Kevin and Jason at the end, I'm immediately thrown back to being in trouble when I'm 13. <laughs> Sean, <laughs> Kevin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, shit, what did we do? <laughs> immediately had that response. That's funny. Well, it's like Kevin Sean. Does that help? Okay, there you go. That, that doesn't trigger it. <laughs> so, Sean, I just sent you a private message on Zoom. Oh, okay. Oh. So that, okay. I'm going to delete that from our action items then. Good job, everybody. All right. Um, so, then anything else on this? That's good. Um, so then I have a, a outstanding issue, which is the status of the metrics on the work group. So this is supposed to be the time, you know, the, uh, like comment period was over. And so this was the week or two weeks where the work groups would resolve any issues and kind of put closure on the metrics that they have. So I guess if I just start with, um, diversity and inclusion, um, Georg, do you know where that one's at right now? I don't. I've not been able to attend the meetings, but I believe Daniel was there. Oh, Daniel. Okay, it's Daniel. Yeah. I think they were pretty solid out of the gate anyway. I think there were a few comments like on uh, Likert sta- scales. So I, this just, I, I would like to see the issue closed. either responded to like, we're not going to do that this time or, or some PR on the associated metrics. So I'm going to go. Uh, uh, Matt, you were asking to me. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, can you say again? I was, we had a small fire here. That was, I'm sorry. Okay. Actual fire. <laughs> Um, basically, do you know the standing of the DNI metrics right now? So, prior was the kind of the comment period, and the space that we're in now is trying to put closure to any comments that people had. You know, so mm-hmm. we had that issue. And so, do you know like if I put this in the chat here? Hmm. Yeah. So those are the issues that are currently at DNI. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the metrics so, candidate release, right? Yeah, um, so yeah, yeah, the metric candidate comments. Do you know yeah. if he's been addressed? Uh, so I'm not aware of the stuff. Oh, why is that Kevin? It doesn't. It doesn't look like it. I'm I'm going through the, the issues now. It, it doesn't look like uh, the comments have been addressed. Okay. Can this can this be on the agenda for Monday's DNI call? Yep, I will add this right now. Okay. It's just kind of putting the, the bow on the metrics, you know what I mean, to either mm-hmm. attend or not attend to the issues. And I actually think the DNI issues are not, they're not that complicated. Okay. Yeah. Um, so action item, put closure. Facebook closure, closure to um, DNI metrics. Um, be there too. And Kevin, can you help? Can you be there on Monday at nine thirty? Yeah, certainly. Okay, because that would be helpful. Mm-hmm. Georg, can you make it? Are you still? I'm still teaching. Uh, I might be able to get out early, if, depending on how class goes. Okay. You're in charge of how class goes. So. Exactly. <laughs> Presentation day. Okay. Uh, it would be great if you were there, and maybe we can make a um, like a call to the DNI list to encourage folks to it come. Does, it does look really minor. I think so, too. I think, uh, I think it's, I think it's just a matter of a, a couple minor edits and then having everyone kind of sign off on the release. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. I'll send an email to the list. 
Okay, thanks. Um, so does, does that mean you want to postpone going live on the release until the 5th? Yeah, probably so. I would like every working group to just feel comfortable. OK. Uh, I, will, uh, I will adjust the, uh, the the document to change the date. On Tuesday? Wait, oh, no, that would just be Monday. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Sean, risk? We've approved everything as of yesterday. Uh, Kevin and I made some changes. There was a there's a background thing that Matt Snell was working on for making the DoSox code available in a chaos repository. So we created a a new repo for now um, called Augur Dash uh, Software Bomb, or I think, or something like that. S -bomb. Oh, okay. This is for the metrics, though. All the metrics. Yeah, no, this is wrapped up in the metrics. Uh, okay. Okay. We wanted because we're showing as an example some of the do socks work. Oh, the group wanted to make sure that we instead of have we had the work uh, that Matt Snell had done in his fork, and we just wanted to bring that in to a, a maintained project. And I just didn't want to bring it into Augur right now because there are a lot of moving parts in Augur, okay. and so right now it's a separate repo, and we'll we'll merge it into Augur at some point in the future. Okay. So is Sorry, this like a technical detail, but that actually was <laughs> from our, our meeting. Is it like is it part of like the like the reference implementation stuff, or is it part yeah, of? Yeah, it's like, like sample implementations that are referenced in the risk metrics, and that's why we want to see include it. Okay, so um, but all of them are approved and signed off and done. Yep. Yes, I yes. had created a pull request last night. Um, I think Kevin pinged me that there were some issue so in evolution i have the pull request 229 so the cap what you have in the document here georg is this with respect to evolution uh the second one i see okay gotcha okay thanks for okay I think those were open items that I just hadn't gotten to before. I see. So, Sean, do you see in risk? Um, are these pull requests or are these issues? These are issues. Pull request. Oh, okay. Let me look at that. If all the pull requests go through, I believe. Uh, I believe we're good on risk. Okay. Sean was saying. Except to see what's in the pull request. Uh, gotcha. like, okay. Uh, so. There's four pull requests and merging them one at a time. You can move on and if I have questions I can ask. Um, all right, so let's go to value. Uh, was there anything else on that, Georg? If those get merged, then that's, I assume yeah, these are good. the last things on my mind. Okay. Um, value, Andy? Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Um, our uh, metrics are finalized. We signed off on, uh, on those on uh, Friday. Okay. Georg's uh, PR has been merged. Um, okay. So I think we're ready to go. Okay, great. Um, slowly but surely. Um, common, I can speak to that. I know that that's good to go. They had just a single metric. I'm sorry, Andy, was there anything else on that? I think you're good. good. We're good. Okay. Um, I think common is good. They had a single metric. Um, Yes, I will do that. I think there's a minor, I think there was a minor comment that, uh, that was discussed in the issues. I think that's been resolved. Oh, it's about the naming. I was willing to let that one slide for the time being. We can take a look at it though. Basically it was a, a naming convention between um, 
Oh my gosh. Anyway, there were there were two two words in the document that were very similar. Right. But I, I think the way that um, Brian had described it was sufficient to me. And if somebody wanted more detail, they could just ask the question. You know what I mean? It was like organizational engagement and organizations engaged or something like that. And there was a question as to what the differences between these two things is. So I'm actually okay with that. Um, so I think Common's good to go. Oops. Um, evolution. Can anybody speak to that? Thanks, John. Silence, anyone? Evolution. I don't know who's been who's been managing the metric process for that. Um, uh, Jesus. Okay. There is a meeting tomorrow. Okay. I might want to just make sure that everything is signed off by that working group tomorrow. Okay. Get. I mean, I don't know if we need to, but I, I can't speak for Jesus and where that process is at, and I don't think anyone else here can. Okay. I'll do that tomorrow. I'll be in that meeting too, so. Okay. It would be great if we could leave the evolution meeting with closure on those. Yep. And Georg, I saw you had a pull request in there. Oh, it's another known implementation PR. Yeah. Okay. 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 Honestly, I think that's it for those. They seem like they're. Just, <laughs> I think we could kind of take a look at these forever. So at some point, I think we have to. To be done. The, yeah, be done. <laughs> would, would be awesome, and I think we're actually there. So. Yeah. No, I just I think we're there too. I just. I just would like to have the evolution group sign off. But yeah, and I, I appreciate when the working groups themselves or the folks kind of running those do the sign off because I'd rather not do it. Yeah. So, okay, cool. Um, all right, anything else on the metrics? I think we're just about ready for release. Oh, Kevin, have you removed? I actually, I could look right now, but I'll just ask. Have you removed the link, 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 the issue link off of the web page? Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, off the detail pages as well. Okay, thanks. Um, all right, cool. Um, can I have something for ChaosCon? You know, we're planning on recording the talks and things like photos. I know, Sean, you take a lot of photos. I do. I have a Flickr channel, but we. I also have a Flickr group that I created, which we might want to add to the social media. Um, presence. Um, now that I, I've forgotten about that, it's just something I do as a hobby, but there is a group for chaos. Should we think about uh, somehow sort of centralizing these on the website? Yeah. That I mean, I think, I think probably this. I think that would go back to kind of what I was saying earlier. John, you had something too? Yeah, the, I just put the, the Flickr group probably should go on John's spreadsheet. I, you know, Flickr is such a not cool website nowadays. Uh, I forget that it's actually social media, technically, but, but I think it is. So we can, like right now, it's just, uh, I'm an admin, but I, can, I believe I can add other admins to it so that other people can put their photos in. OK. Um, Kevin, do you have any idea what, like, getting the Flickr channel to show on the Chaos page is like via WordPress? Have you ever done that? Uh, that'd, be, that'd be pretty easy to do. Okay. Uh, well, it's just a matter of having a, uh, I mean, you don't, you don't want the entire folder to show, so you need a, a curated, uh, collection of photos that you want on there. Yeah, and I'm just thinking of like those left right arrows so that people could scroll through on the web page. Yeah, just a just a slider. Yeah, exactly. See you later, John. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
and that would i think that's that would go back to what i was was saying earlier uh, we're we're starting to we're getting a lot of a lot of uh things that need to be managed and it's uh, yeah. a, a special interest group to manage all of this stuff would be would be really helpful yeah i agree uh, but yeah, it can definitely be done, and uh, I think there's an issue on the the website repository to to do that. Actually, uh, it's okay. just a matter of uh, we've never really had a like a a central repository for for pictures before. Uh, okay. For chaos, I know individual people have them, but we should start using this. I think it makes them. I mean, it's Flickr.com groups chaos. Yeah. Currently, all the images that we're using on the website, we're actually, we are uploading into WordPress and we're storing them there. Uh, it, would be, it would be much easier if we could store them outside of WordPress. Uh, okay. WordPress doesn't manage images all that well. Well, I have no religion about Flickr if somebody wants to do it. I mean, it is kind of an off. If it's pop, it was popular for some other photo management thing someone wants to use, I'm completely fine moving this content over there. I like, don't have any stake in where it is. I just put it where I put my photos. I have no comment on that because I like whatever is easiest to get like a slide full on. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, what about um, Okay, so I, Kevin, could you look into that? I, I totally agree with you on making a group that handles this. But at the time being, could you look into the Flickr stuff? Huh? Okay. And then what about the... Yeah, I can... Uh, okay. I can uh, do that right away. The, I mean, uh, the instant I have a, a folder with images that we want to share, I can, I can have that up in a very short period of time. Sean, maybe add Kevin as an admin. Okay. So that is... I need your, do you have a Flickr ID, Kevin? Or a Yahoo account? I need to create a Flickr ID. <laughs> See, that's where, that's where, like, if somebody else <laughs> want to manage it somewhere else, it's, it's a former Yahoo property that's now owned by some other site. They sold it off. Yahoo sold it off. Like, like Yahoo does. So then if, how um, about we use Google Photos? Like, since everyone has a Google account and most of totally the cool with that. Does Google does Google have a the ability to create groups? They probably do. I'll figure that out. All right. Well, maybe Sean, you and Kevin go back and forth just a little bit. Okay. Whatever is the easiest thing to do on that. All right. And then Kevin, you could, I could even just go through it with you one day. Like, we'll just make a folder. You know what I mean? And just pull out yeah. some photos. Okay. Um, and then um, the YouTube stuff. Do we ever like when we're doing the Chaos Con coming up, and we're going to be filming all that? Should we somehow, you know, show off the the keynote speakers on the web page, the the presentations themselves? I think we're already doing some of that. Are we? Yeah, the, so we do have a, uh, we've created a YouTube uh, uh, folder, and everything that goes in that folder is actually appearing on the website currently. Where so currently there are five videos that are playing, uh, or that are available on the, uh, the website. Okay. It's under the community tab. Uh, that tab actually, there's an issue to resolve that. That tab, I think, is going to be separated out into multiple pages. Oh, okay. Uh, right now, the blog is kind of thrown in there as well. I think the the blog is going to be separated into its own page. Okay. Uh, and that's that's kind of where the social media lives as well currently. So it okay. it needs to be redesigned. Uh, we kind of threw it together pretty fast. So like the community would have some drop downs that would be like videos. Blog. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I I looked at the YouTube permissions right now. Um, me, Asus, Kevin, Matt, and Sean are all listed as owners on. Oh. Okay. So Sean, you already have access. Okay. Just didn't know it. On what? The YouTube Sean. channel. Oh, okay. Just, when you go to YouTube and you're logged in with your Google account, you should be able to switch the account. 
uh, clicking on your uh, picture on the top right corner. All right. Is it sfgoggins.com, that is? Uh, it says John Goggins. Yeah, I don't know which account okay. that is. All right. I'll look. I'll try my different accounts. Um, okay, so maybe you and I can talk about, like, I think some of those videos on the front page would be great. Or at least one. Like, we have some pretty cool keynotes coming. That's definitely the keynotes. Yeah. yeah. That I'm pretty excited about. That would be good. Okay. Um, all right. So that's that. Um, Sean. Oh, okay. So, Sean, I need an update on Augur for the weekly newsletter. Okay. Just send um, it to me yesterday. You can send it to me in Slack or whatever. Okay. And then, um, the does anybody want to ever help me with the weekly news <laughs> newsletters? I'm always willing to, maybe like on a month by month basis, you know, so like somebody, whomever that might be, uh, could write it for a month and then somebody else could write it for a month and then somebody else could write it for a month and then, <laughs> you know, they're not hard, but it just takes a little bit of time. So uh, there's a section for each work group, isn't there? Kind of. In the weekly, in the newsletter, yeah, yeah there, you're right, exactly. So it's just getting some software updates. You could kind of, you could kind of divvy it up. You could just kind of divvy it up and kind of, hey, uh, B and I, can you write a paragraph for the? Yeah, kind of do that with software the newsletter yeah, too. No. Just asking one of the work groups to put something together during their weekly, like an update. Um, all right, well, y'all can think about it. Um, but if anybody wants to help me with that, that'd be cool. Um, and one last thing for today, unless other people have other things too, but, um, what are people's thoughts on providing a mapping between the metrics that are being released and the software that's actually doing the deployment of those metrics? So like what I mean is, um, you know, like value has three metrics, right? That are being released as in version one. So it's, it's just creating a map that, that here, here it is in Augur. I know we have the known implementations, but really allowing people to see that, you know, without going metric by metric, that these metrics are actually available in the chaos tooling as we speak. I you think about the table with the uh, three columns metrics in the first columns and then auger and Grimolab in the second and third column with check marks, which ones are implemented. Yeah. Something simple. Yeah, exactly. That, that's it. So people could really understand really quickly just what the working groups are, what the metrics are, and then where they are accessible and what software. That makes sense to me. This would be on the metrics repository. It could, it could be in the metrics repository. It's something that we could, I think it'd just, yeah, it'd be something to circulate. I, I just, my concern is, is that as we have all these metrics, you know, we're going to have over a dozen metrics that are being deployed in this first release. And it's the responsibility of a person right now to go metric by metric to realize where they're actually deployed. And just a simple, simple spreadsheet would take care of that. Um, okay, I'll put that together. And then I'll have Sean, you just put X's <laughs> in the auger column on the metrics that you have deployed in Augur. And then whether Danny or Gail or whoever. Uh, same with Grimoire Lab, just put X's in the box. So I'll put that together and then circulate it okay. for folks. Um, okay. Cool. Excellent. That actually, that might be nice on the metrics tab on the website as well. Just a yeah, really easy way to see. Maybe, maybe like it'll right work. above the release. Yeah, maybe it only needs to be on the website too. Just something really simple on the web page, because that would be super easy to maintain. How about converting the list we currently have at the top of the metrics page that have two columns to it? So let me take a look at that. Yeah, the the table that's there currently. Is, Is that, that what you're talking about? On the web page? Okay. Are you on the web page, Gary? Basically, it's a table of contents. 
Yes. That's the, the navigating the navigating table. Slide. Convert convert that. You're talking wait, I'm are you talking about that link, Georg? Here, let me share my desktop. You see yeah, okay. this focus yeah. area by working group. If you just yep. add two columns in here. Yeah, good idea. Then we have it right here with the metrics page. Yeah, a good idea. Okay. Um, I'll actually do that. And Kevin, I'll just issue a request for you to bring in. Uh, how many how many columns? Three three columns or four columns? It'd be three total. Organization affiliation is a focus area, but you're you're talking about you want to link them to the specific uh, uh, detail metric, right? So oh yeah, that's true. Organization affiliation is uh, so you have to add an extra column just for that as well. Oh, uh, I see. Never mind. Sorry. No, that would still be okay. I think just on that top table, we can have. We'll we'll play around with it, but I like it at the top there. Okay, uh, uh, that'll that'll need to be done in HTML, by the way. I know HTML. <laughs> My idea, as Kevin points out, doesn't fully work because we don't have the metrics in this table here at the top. But what he's saying is, you could add another column, which is the actual metrics associated with event diversity. It'll make it kind of big at the top. Okay. But then we don't need them down here at the bottom anymore. No, we wouldn't. Then we'd have to add another column, which is the question though too. <laughs> so then it becomes a five column. So hmm, could we, how about in the metrics column here? Yeah. How about we, make a line break here and then have auger and grimoire lab with a check mark or an x right underneath the name yeah i really just want it all in one like you can just look at one table well this is one page you just scroll down you look at the metric and then you see which software it's implemented or not how about i'll put together a couple options how about that like i can do that option what you're saying, Gail? Yep. No, I didn't hear you. Okay. Uh, make a few. Okay. Oops. I'm gonna give myself an extra. Name. Okay. Um. Any, I, just a few, uh, I'll be reaching out to the speakers here shortly for ChaosCon, just kind of what the schedule's looking like, um, the rooms. Kevin, there's, there is gonna be a change in the schedule a little bit. Um, I'll, I'll tell you about that. Um, if anybody has any needs prior to giving a talk, um, who's gonna be there? Who can help kind of staff the table okay. for registration? I'll be there early in the morning. So. Okay. And I'll be there too. On Monday morning. So. Okay. So maybe between the three of us, that's plenty. Um, and I'm not giving a talk at Chaos Con, so I can kind of do that all day. Um, all right. Cool. I think everything seems to be good there. Um, anything else from folks? Nope. All good? All right. Um, till next week or another meeting. It's good to see everybody. Good to see you. And I will talk to y'all later. Later. Bye. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.